Well, folks, looks like the uh, streak of wonderful weather that we've had out there the past couple of weeks is finally coming to an end. In fact, we're at day number 18 now of dry weather. But as you can see behind me, we've got lots of clouds. It looks very gloomy out there. Now, the good news is we're not looking at anything severe or anything crazy that's going to be happening over the next couple of hours. In fact, most of us will remain dry. The sky will just look a little threatening, but eventually we'll start to see those rain chances increasing from south to north across the area. Let's start off with the temperature though because you can kind of get an idea that we've got some changes upper 60s to lower 70s but notice that wind out of the southeast at 15 so we've got some breezy if not downright gusty conditions already occurring out there and that's pumping in the humidity along with the warmth and starting to set the stage for a better chance of rain as we progress throughout the afternoon so let's switch right over to the radar and let me show you where the rain is now because you can see again for most of us here in the Tennessee Valley we're looking at dry and quiet conditions but just off to our south and west notice from Hunts down towards Coleman, Alabama. You're starting to see some of that rain developing and there's more where that came from down to the south. You can see that stretching down towards Gadsden, Birmingham, right along that 59 corridor and notice how it's drifting to the north and east. So especially for areas Chattanooga and points south or let's just say I 75 and points to the south and east. You're going to see a decent chance of some of this activity moving across the area as they go into the afternoon hours. Now, if you live north and west of the city, you may have to wait a little longer before the next best chance of rain, which will come with the actual cold front itself, which is back to the north and west. It's still over Missouri, but this will likely organize into a line of gusty thunderstorms and begin to drift off towards the east and southeast later this afternoon and this evening. So a large part of the afternoon hours, the areas north and west of the city may remain dry. If you're south and east of the city, it could be a little unsettled, but either way, there is a chance of rain for everyone as to go throughout today and tonight. So let's kind of break it down a little bit more. Let's talk about that threat of severe weather because believe it or not, some of this activity again could come in the form of some thunderstorms. Now the greatest risk of severe weather will be for areas just to our west today from Nashville, Memphis down towards northern portions of Mississippi. But with that being said, we do have a level one out of five risks. It's the lowest level that you can have on the risk scale, but you get the idea. We're going to have some of those storms moving in later on this evening tonight from that line of storm activity and it'll be weakening, but it could contain some gusty winds with it as it moves into the area. So there could be an isolated uh, severe thunderstorm or two moving into our region. So we're going to watch that for you closely with that level one risk. Again, the primary concern, some gusty winds and maybe that potential of some small hail, but I think that'll be fairly limited. So here's our latest future cast showing us those south winds gusty this afternoon, pulling in some of that moisture from the south. So that'll be wave number one, but the main action will come through later this evening with that line that will start to move into the western half of the plateau around 10 or 11 o'clock. That'll move across the heart of the area here from Chattanooga to Dayton around 11 o'clock. Let's say Dalton, Cleveland up around uh, midnight to 1 a.m. And again, this could contain, contain some thunder, some lightning, some heavy rain, but it won't last very long. By 2, 3 o'clock in the morning, it's pushing over the Blue Ridge and moving out of the area. And by the time you wake up tomorrow morning, I think most of the rainfall will be done. As far as rainfall amounts, uh, because this is moving so quickly, a quarter of an inch of rain, I think again, is going to be pretty much the big average of that. So this weekend, we'll see temperatures cool down briefly Friday into Saturday. They'll warm up ahead of our next front and the secondary front brings us below normal temperatures well below normal temperatures by the time we get towards the beginning of next week so that's going to be the other story to talk about once we get past the chance of rain so here's a look at your storm alert seven day forecast again today a storm alert weather day that chance of showers and thunderstorms especially later on this evening and tonight and then we'll see that rain come to an end thursday with a brief cool down heading into friday and then notice by saturday highs back up near 80 but our next chance of rain arrives sunday into monday with with that second front that could bring us some blustery and much colder conditions by the time we get towards the beginning of next week, Latrice. So a lot of ups and downs in this forecast. Yes, there certainly are. Thank you so much there, Cedric.